welcome to this week's tutorial. In this one, we're going to have a look at the XR interaction layer masks and figure out how we can make our teleporting even better. Let's jump right in. Before we get started, I just wanted you to know this project is actually going to be available on my Patreon page. Um, and if you guys are interested, you can grab it from there. And this will include this scene, which is all set up for teleportation and grabbing. Uh, so feel free to take a look. Uh, and if you're finding these XR tutorials useful, it will really help me and support the channel if you would leave a like. So here in Unity, you'll see that from last week's tutorial, we left off where we have had the ability to teleport around this little area. And we were teleporting by pressing up on our thumbstick, which then activated a ray and allowed us to teleport. Now that system works really well and that's my preferred solution for navigating around in VR. But it did raise a little bit of a problem. But it will allow us to showcase a cool feature of the XR Interaction Toolkit, which is the interactive layer mask. First of all, I'm going to show you the problem uh, and then we'll work out the solution. So first of all, I've just created a couple of objects here to better demonstrate what I'm going to be showing you. And there's just a, a grey cube, which if you think about it, is just more of our table uh, and a green cube, which is just uh, our grabbable object. And what it's got on it is the XR Grab Interactable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this and you'll see what I mean. So here we are in VR. You can see I can teleport around and that's all cool. Um, but what happens if this ray, our teleport ray, intersects the cube? We get big problems, as you can see. And likewise, if we go ahead and try and grab our cube, that's all cool. That still works. That's using our XR um, Direct Interactor. The second I want to teleport with this object, it lets go of the cube. Um, and then again, we'll cause all sorts of devastation when we try and um, teleport. So how can we fix this problem? Well, layer masks. Let's look at those. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is if we were to go ahead and click on our XR rig, I'm gonna scroll it down until we find the right hand. And let's just choose the base interactor for a minute. And you'll see here, um, it's just got the layer default. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and add a layer. And you can see I've already added in a layer here when I was testing this uh, called teleportation. Um, so you'll probably find yours is like that and that's fine. So go ahead and type teleportation into that box and you'll have that there as a new layer. And then back on the controller. Now we're gonna start tweaking our direct interactor. So you'll see the second um, parameter down is the interaction layer masks, which gives a description. The tooltip says it allows interaction with interactables whose interaction layer masks overlap with any layer in this interaction layer mask. Now we don't want our direct interactor to interact with our teleportation. So we'll go ahead and uncheck that. And then you'll see here it's become unchecked. Then in our right hand teleport controller, where we set this up last week to teleport around, in our XR ray interactor, under the interaction layer mask, we don't want it to choose everything, which is currently on at the minute. Let's select nothing and then select teleportation. That's the only layer we want this XR ray interactor to be worried about. Now that's our ray interactor for our right hand all configured. What we need to look at now though are the teleport areas. So wherever we have a teleport anchor, let's choose one that's over here. You'll see it on the teleportation anchor script there is also the interaction layer masks. Uh, and at the moment it's set to nothing, but yours might be on everything, which it probably is by default. So go ahead and make sure it's on nothing and then select teleportation. So now our right hand teleport controller will only interact with objects on the teleportation layer, which have them selected in the interaction layer mask. Then we also need to go and have a look at our cube, our grabbable object. We also want to make sure that our interaction layer mask for this, yours might be on everything. Let's make it, let's bring it up a little bit. We want it to be on everything but teleportation. So we can uncheck that box. Last but not least, we're going to just amend the teleport controller script that we wrote in, in last week's tutorial to enable the ability to keep hold of objects when you teleport. We can go ahead and we can just tick that box rather than remove it for a minute. We'll just go ahead and tick that box so um, it's just going to stay on effectively. And we'll do the same for the left hand. Uh, I had a play around already, so just make sure your XR Direct Interactor on the On Teleport Activate on the base controller is 
remaining is enabled. We're not going to turn it off. And let's jump into VR and have a look at how, how this is all working. Got old faithful back on. And I've got my hands and you can see I can teleport around with my left and right controllers. That's all good. Let's go over here. Nice. Still got my um, snap turn all working. We'll teleport back over here. There's my table. There it is. Boom. So now if you can see when I activate my teleporter and I go across my grab it interactor, it's not interfering. It's deactivating the, the teleport because it's not hitting a valid teleport object and that's great, that's fine, that's that's what we want to happen. Um, but now you can see that when we grab this and then we activate our teleporter, we're no longer dropping the object and we can then teleport still with our cube in our hands. We can go over here, change hands and teleport. That's all good. So then just as a little bit of a recap, first thing we did was we created a new layer called teleportation and then on our hands or left and right hands, we extended them down and went to our right hand teleport controller and we changed the interaction layer mask to only work on that new teleportation layer. We did the same for the left hand as well. And then on our base controller for our hand, we selected the um, interaction layer mask from our direct interactor and deselected teleportation. And on our teleportation anchors, we made sure that the interaction layer mask the only one it accepted was the teleportation. And then if you've got any grabbable objects, then we can make sure that on the XR grab interactable, we've turned off the teleportation. So our ray, if it hits that object, it isn't going to um, try and grab it. This will only work with the direct interactor. And then we finished up by keeping our direct interactor on. We were turning it off before, so it's like that by default. We've gone, gone, gone ahead and left it on so that when you teleport um, you don't drop the cube because we're turning the direct interact off so once we do that anything we have grabbed will be dropped so by keeping it on will mean that we'll keep hold of that object when we teleport well that's it for this tutorial you can grab this project from my patreon page and next week we're going to start taking a look at ui and how we can use xr interaction toolkit to interact with buttons and sliders and different bits and pieces of the user interface i'll see you then